how to grind, how to get up off my ass, focus on my future, can be worn, but my pet. Yeah, Jack Doe, is he money or not? We are not making it out the hood anytime soon. All right, buddy. Uh, Dap me up, mate. Oh, Brr, run to your. Well, bro, enjoy your day, man. <laughs> If you don't know who this is, then I've got great news for you. Meet Jack Doherty. He's everywhere at the moment, and it's not for good reason. He's an in real life streamer, and that probably tells you everything you need to know about him. But Jack Doherty is a generational talent, because the stuff he does is just another level. <laughs> what? Well, bro, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? He might be the worst person in the world. That's actually the nice side of Jack as well. As with anything on the internet, it does spiral until it gets out of control. I think the best way to describe Jack Doherty is if someone put Jake Paul's soul into a prepubescent looking kid. The guy is a kid in every single thing but age. And he's not just any kid, he is a spoiled kid. And as you can probably guess, it just negatively impacts everybody in his immediate vicinity. Can I please have a chocolate donut? Yes. Ice or hot. You need to get out from behind the counter before I call the police and get you. Okay. They kicked me out, but I didn't let that stop me. So five minutes later, I snuck back in and decided to just steal the bike, and this happened. Wait, no, don't call the cops. Put the bike back, Put the bike back now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, as you can see, he's a great guy. Probably quite down to earth when you do get to know him. But I think this does encapsulate Jack Doherty perfectly. His whole career is basically just getting in situations that would otherwise result in him getting his jaw spun. But that's never going to happen for one big reason. Because luckily for Jack Doherty's face, he has got a get out of jail free card. This card is the hulking behemoths that follow him around everywhere he goes. The best way it can be described is a cheat code because it just allows him to do whatever he wants. Get that shit out of my face. Or, Get out of my face. Or what? 16. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. So yeah, under any normal circumstance, Jack Doherty would not be behaving this way. But as you're about to see, there is a big reason why he is so bold. Because the moment anyone even looks him in the eye, you're about to see what happens. They say money doesn't buy you happiness, but clearly it does buy you immunity from any consequences ever. And listen, in principle, him having bodyguards isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you're somewhat a public figure and you are walking around in public, especially in places like LA where these people are vultures, well, it makes sense to give yourself some assurances. But when you're setting them on the public like guard dogs, that might be an abuse of power. And it's not even like Jack Doherty is a model citizen. It's the fact he's going around trying to antagonize. That's where the problem comes in. He uploaded a video of him the other day in Beverly Hills just terrorizing stores. And to be honest, it's absolutely everything you would expect it to be. I accept stolen credit card. I'm on my punch made dev shit, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's laughing, but bro is not rocking with that joke. I mean, they're not going to be picky. They're going to be taking money from anyone. But Jack Doherty is one of those people. You just want to move on as quick as possible. And they consistently tell him not to film it in the store. And he just doesn't listen. It got to the point where they literally turn the lights off. Yeah, perfect. Amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend, sir. You're a cool guy. 28.89, sir. Can we just take like 69 percent off? We'll give you your OF for free. Thank God y'all accept stolen credit cards. And then the literal next story went into, we did the exact same thing. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And by that definition, Jack Doherty is an absolute nutcase. No filming? Yep. What if they just like, no, so oh, fine. We'll leave him down here. You can babysit him. It's all you, man. Let's just walk back in and pretend like they never told us not to film and let's just- Yeah, that would actually be really funny. This guy is the best content creator of a generation. I'm no content kingpin, but at least when I suck, people just tell me I'm a fat loser in the comments. With Jack Doherty, no one ever gets the chance because his bodyguards stop him before they get close. And intrinsically, that's the problem. When you get no consequences, you're gonna do whatever you want. It's completely ignore him. Like, don't hold the camera down. All right, guys, so we're gonna be doing a little MTV Cribs tour. We got Alexander McQueen right here. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. The cameras did then cut, and then his bodyguards beat this store clerk to within an inch of his life. Jack Doherty then skipped off into the sunset, and absolutely no consequences followed. But in all seriousness, it's clear to me that this guy has never worked like a real job. That's not to say making content isn't a real job, but I think working in retail, for example, might be good perspective for anybody that does it. And normally, the people that are this flippant about store clerks have probably never had to work that job. So yeah, Jack Doherty, you're never beating the worst person in the world allegations but i'm not sure you'd even want to because where are the views in that so he pointed me in this direction guys so we're gonna go review what we got over here on this side of the store it's not cute anymore so we're gonna have to Sad i never try to be cute Please stop. Please stop. are you calling my mom yes, I 
That's weird. Yeah, not to be a neek or anything, but these guys are just doing their jobs. And you're plastering their face onto a huge platform. I mean, I guess it might be funny for iPad kids. I've had a few of my comments myself. But the guy's just going around ruining people's days at this point. There is no net benefit to any of this. Bye, my friend. You were right, though. Moneybag Yo is in the building. How'd you know? I, I mean, the kid's honest. I'll give him that. Yeah, I think these clips really do represent a huge problem with Jack Doherty. He's a professional day ruiner. And when he's not terrorizing the public, He's terrorizing his friends and family. My brother loves guys and he literally has a boyfriend. I don't know why it's so funny, but the like vine boom sound when he says he has a boyfriend, it's just hilarious. Maybe Jack Doherty's, well, it's his editor to be fair, but he has the best comedic timing of all time. Like I'm impartial to a nice little vine boom, but at that point it might be homophobic, but it is very funny. So Jack Doherty, I'll give you the pass. Your editor, he has great comedic timing. Good. So I shut up a hidden camera in our bedroom and I waited until McKinley was alone so that we could do this. Hey McKinley, how are you? I'm um, good, how are you? What are you doing later? I don't know, are we just gonna be here? Okay, good. I like where this is going. Me too. <laughs> Hey, yeah, bro, either walked through the wall or spawned. I mean, your comedic timing might be on point, but your director, he's got to do better. I'm sorry, but for this scripted skit, I'm going to have to give you a 4 out of 10. My boyfriend is Jack Doherty, and his brother has a boyfriend. Oh, they've done it again. They've done it again. Yeah, this has to be personal at this point. I'm not even going to justify this TikTok by watching the rest of it. It doesn't take a genius to understand that these just are scripted. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but if you are a Jack Doherty fan, kind of hate watching this video. Before you comment down below telling me I'm broke, just know that these videos are fake. Santa's also not real. I do feel like a bad guy for telling you that. But you know what? At some point, the truth has got to come out. How to raise up any girl? Hey. How are you? Yeah, try doing this to a random girl in public. You're gonna be pepper sprayed. Unless you're Jack Doherty, in which case you will get a million views. But yeah, when he's not holding it down on social media with this quality content, he is attending like LA parties. And these LA parties, they are just completely soulless. You get all these like famous figures. It's a bit like a GTA lobby, but there's about as many souls as there is in a GTA lobby full of NPCs. But I'm convinced these people aren't real. I'm convinced they just go in front of the camera and as soon as they're off camera, they just shut down and hibernate and the interactions just don't seem real you'll have people like adam 22 begging you to sleep with his wife I don't want to me. That's not rude. this is actually considered small talk amongst la influencers and this is about the level of every single interaction had at these parties if you can find me a single heartwarming or nice interaction from an la influencer party i'll throw you like a fiver or something because i don't think it exists he keeps meeting people on this stream and they keep getting worse action <laughs> Dude, your brother's a gay man. Let's go. I'm gonna introduce myself to this guy. Oh, yeah. This guy attacks oh, this me a guy. lot. No, no, I love this guy. This is my little brother right here. Yeah, he comes over a lot. Dude, it's really that way. Dude, I was a hit for 10 years, bro. I'm scared. Holy f***. This guy is a cartoon. It's like something you'd hear from Surf's Up. He's basically every single American frat boy stereotype rolled up into one. And the funniest thing is when Jack approaches him, he does look terrified. And this guy is supposed to be his friend. Even in these LA influencer circles, everybody is living in fear of Jack Doherty's camera and probably living in fear of his bodyguards too. If you even look at him funny, you're getting sent to sleep. Yeah, this guy, his name is like Action Man or something. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not that clued in to Jack Doherty's streamer law But I've seen a few clips of this action man guy and uh, you could probably make a whole video on him alone Man, I'm sorry like How does he know all the difference oh, between you and if he was invited here, he weren't if I get like 200 likes, I'll probably do one because the guy is a mess. Yeah, after the amount of Jack Doherty content we've just been through, I'm not going to subject you to any more of this. But going back to the party, someone actually made Jack Doherty look good. Some guy in a firefighter suspenders oh, being weird as fuck. How do we bait him? IRL. Should we go in front of him? Go cool, next to him. If he starts talking, I'm going to press him. We're using it as bait. Right when he starts talking, I'm going to press him. Yo, Brandon checked it. I checked him. I said back. <laughs> this guy is checking no one. Do you know what, Jack Doherty? I agree with you in principle. This man should not be recording people. But this white boy named Brandon did not check anyone. If anybody's going to check this bloke, it's going to be his bodyguards. Let's not kid ourselves. But yeah, it really does take a lot of effort to make Jack Doherty look good in an interaction. But this random creep, he actually does manage it, to be fair to him. And he's a freak. He's undoubtedly a freak. But it is an impressive feat. You've got to separate the artist from the art sometimes. Yo, you fucking weirdo, why are you taking pictures of her? You fucking 
tree. Can you get pictures of hot girls? No, yeah, why? That's my girlfriend. Why is he taking pictures of you? Tree? I don't know. Yeah. Girl. Come here, show, show it. Show it right now. So I wanna Look see Look at it. you. No, I wanna Look see at it. you. You're yeah, after this, Jack does not let it go. Jack does not take being called gay. If anything, I'm just surprised he didn't put like a vine boom over the top of him being called gay. Right now. So gay. I wanna see yeah, Jack then follows him back to his car or his van and he gets hit with maybe the best insult of all time. You can't stand so close to my experiment. Why are you putting your hands in your pants? Put on a Glock. Have a good night. This must be weird. You got nothing better to do besides take pictures of girls. Do you have a college degree? Well, it might be an insult or it might be like a job offer. I have absolutely no idea at this point. And by this point in the video, I think I might be done with looking at Jack. There is plenty more to talk about and watch when it comes to Jack Doherty. I mean, the guy has made classics such as midget boxing on Thanksgiving. It would almost feel like a disservice to not watch this. But yeah, if this video does well, I'll do some more. Feel free to drop a comment or a like, you know, let me know if you enjoyed the video. If people did enjoy, then I'll do more. But for today, I just can't sit for any more Jack Doherty. Either way, you know, drop a sub. The game's the game, and I would appreciate it. Yeah, with all that said, thank you for watching. I'm gonna go make it out the hood in a bit. I started crying, I had to get up off my ass, focus on my future, can't be worried about my 